generation, all the generation which gets affected mostly by the climate change to the conservation program. Because the Prime Minister talks about Jalla Andolan and Jalla Andolan. So to get the younger generation involved is the first important thing. Second, uh, uh, we are uh, now trying to establish a platform for sharing of knowledge, for sharing of best practices, as well as uh, uh, networking of the universities. That's what uh, the, the, main, the, the main aim of this program. So if you look at the, um, uh, the area, land area with the universities, as you rightly said, it is a very large area. So when we were doing the catch the rain campaign earlier, we had also started a movement called uh, Not a Drop from My Compound. Basically, large institutions with large land area, like cantonment boards, the universities, IITs, IIMs, we were all uh, asked to take up this water harvesting structures in their uh, area, so that not a drop of water comes out of their compound. So not a drop of uh, from my compound was a very interesting movement where a lot of uh, universities participated and uh, involving the students. So the uh, takeaway from this is that if students get involved in such activities, they also learn from experience and also carry the message across it. And not only that, in many universities, this was followed by the involvement of NSS. They took up and adopted nearby villages to start up the water conservation. Program. The whole idea is to make the uh, younger generation aware of it and also see that the message they also spread to the other um, villages and the neighboring cities and uh, stakeholders for conservation of water. Uh, Namami Ganga mostly talks about the cleaning of Ganga and the tributaries and, and the, and the embankments along with it. Where do you see is the developmental process that has gone into it and the... No, no, and Namami Ganga is... No, no, we, are, we, we, we were earlier looking at Ganga, but, uh, Ganga only, but now as I said, Ganga stands for the entire, all rivers in the country. So it's basically the principles which we have done and the... Uh, uh, what which gave us uh, this type of world recognition by the UN, etc. That lessons we have learned, we are now trying to replicate in other rivers. So, it is, when you say Ganga, it is not just confined to Ganga, it is all the rivers in the country we like to call Ganga and also speak it as Ganga, so that uh, every river recognition takes place and every river is actually respected and revered as Ganga.